I'm the Executive Product Specialist here at Luxury Promise. And uh, Luxury Promise is a leading specialist in authentic uh, um, designer bags and accessories. And tonight's show is all about vintage. So if you're a fan of vintage pieces, then this is the show for you. So how it'll work is that as we're talking, we'll demonstrate, we'll pull out some pieces, we'll show you some styling options, and it's very much an interactive show. So at any time, feel free to um, post a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make friends yeah we? we have loads of people like make friends on here and as and then slowly the uh, product card will uh, appear on your top left hand corner and all you need to do is tap on the icon and it'll take you to car we'll take we take all um, major uh, credit and debit cards as well as paypal so it's very easy to shop plus we ship worldwide, and tonight's show, we're also covering your customs duty if you're shopping outside the UK. Yeah, and not to embarrass Winnie, but tonight your drop is incredible. Oh! And it's got, I love it because it's for all price ranges tonight yes. as well, which yes, is really definitely. nice. Yes, definitely. I mean, the, the beauty of vintage is that you don't have to spend a fortune. Um, every, we have affordable bits as well as one-of-a-kind bits, so let's start. Um, let's start with, um, let's a good old, let's, let's do Gucci. Shall we do Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll do the blue one. Oh, it's so, I, I, I am obsessed with these backpacks. I know, I love these Gucci backpacks. Um, you know, Gucci was famed for its uh, bamboo hardware, and this was introduced post Second World War uh, due to the lack of resources. So ah. there was very much a uh, lack of uh, materials. So they looked to uh, using a reuni reusable, I guess they were kind of ahead of its time, yeah. reusable resource such as bamboo. They found that if you heat molded it, it's as strong as steel. And um, it became part of their hardware, and it is part of their iconic design ever since. This is a gorgeous vintage, I would say 80s to 90s era backpack, and this is the large backpack size. And it features gold tone hardware, of course the infamous um, bamboo hardware. It's, uh, it's got adjustable um, shoulder straps, but what's really nice, I think what attracted me, is this beautiful like light blue, mm. gray color. Especially, it's getting us in the mood for spring. Yeah. Oh, HR day. can we talk about spring right now, looking outside? Yeah, it is yeah, getting yeah. chilly. So can you imagine wearing this with a t-shirt, with a denim jacket and shorts, and you're just ready, and with a pair of flip-flops. Imagine wearing open-toed shoes again. Yeah. It's Ooh, so cold I couldn't here. imagine that right now. Yes, exactly. So we have some amazing, this, I mean, this is a really amazing condition, considering it's a vintage piece. Um, there's hardly anywhere to the corners of the bag. The hardware is also in excellent condition and it's adjustable straps as well. Um, the, uh, the condition of the suede is very good, just minimal signs of use and wear. Um, even in this camera actually, it looks yeah. really good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a really, really beautiful colour. It's adjustable as in size and it's a drawstring closure, so it's very secure and inside it's beautifully clean as well. Uh, Sarah Louise is asking, please tell me that you have something silver and evening style. I have a last minute black tie event next week. Ooh. We may have, we may have, just stay on the show. Depends if you're after uh, a bag or a piece of costume jewelry. We definitely have something. Yeah. Hello, Hello Shani. Guys. Hello Samira. We've got some um, Regular. regulars <laughs> here <laughs> on the show, which is amazing. Let me just, put this on for size so you can see this is what it looks like on yeah. me will it fit in a 13 inch laptop i wonder i think so mm, i think so when it's uh it's, yeah it will it will because the uh, the width of it is 13 inch so if you don't pull in the drawstrings it should fit in a laptop yeah. well somebody well. asking if it'll fit a laptop um I'm yeah yeah <laughs> <what might buy. laughs> i mean it definitely makes a good college bag or yeah. work bag because it's backpack, if you bike, if you push bike it to work, it's very practical. You can put this, pop this on your back. Yeah. Um, I mean, I love these these pieces. They're especially this colour. It's such a rare colour. Yeah. Um, so let me just give it one more swim before we reveal the price. So can't fault the condition. It's excellent. What do you reckon? Yeah. And I think they're so iconic as well, especially with the bamboo detail. Yeah. It's yeah. understated, but. 
if you are a fan of the Gucci house, you know what it is. Yeah. Um, and a backpack, I'm just a huge fan of them. Exactly. I mean, it says Gucci without it emblazoned yeah. with Gucci. Pick off the, uh, off the bamboo hardware. Yeah. Do you want to put it on oh. yourself so you can see? And as you know, I love blue. Look, blue jumper, but, blue yeah. nails. Just love this. It's oh, almost like duck, duck egg yeah, blue. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, it's a very, very light, turquoisey, minty blue. Do you remember when everybody's houses were duck egg blue? Yeah. I with love... Laura Ashley wallpaper. Uh, my house is still like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love duck egg. In my living it. room, it's it's that kind of colour. Oh, it just looks so cute yeah. on you. Love a backpack. L- yes. So, hello everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Samira is asking. Uh, I know you have to make appointments. That yes, it's true. Yes. Uh, Mondays to Fridays. If you want to make an appointment, um, we'll pin a number. You could just DM us to book an appointment. Uh, that, that is for both for viewing and for selling. From Mondays to uh, sorry, sorry, from Saturdays to Sundays, it's a uh, walk-in. So anybody, there's no appointment. You can drop by. So mm-hmm. I think we're ready to reveal the price. Um, before we do, let us just recap. Um, it's a large backpack style, light blue suede with a leather finish, uh, classic bamboo uh, hardware with a gold tone feature and it has an adjustable uh, strap. It's bag only, does not come with uh, the Gucci dust bag but we will provide you with a complimentary dust bag and overall the rating is very good. So. The backpack is available for four hundred and seventy-five pounds. Wow. One incredible. That price. is, I think that's why people. I think vintage is the way to go. If you are looking to invest in vintage and you have a limited budget, uh, vintage older pieces are a great way, you know, to start on that vintage collection mm-hmm. um, journey. Definitely. So uh, to uh, to purchase, there it is. It's above there. You just tap on the icon. And it will take you to the product page where you can read further information as well as add to cart. Exactly. Yes. So, so we're doing double trouble tonight. Double trouble because not only we do we have this colour, Sade is going to show you the alternative colour. Look at that. It's like, is it a raspberry, pinky, yeah. white kind of colour? Yeah, I would it's say. more pink, is it? More pink. Yeah. It reminds me of magenta. <gasps> magenta. So yeah. as Winnie explained, it has all the features as the backpack she previously shown. So you've got the bamboo handle to the top. You've got these handy little pockets at the front, which also have the, that bamboo twist lock compartment. And they are actually pockets you can use, yes. which I love. Yeah. <laughs> And um, you've got that drawstring closure, so you've got all your items nice and secure. I, and for me, a bag is something where if you want to add a bit of pop of colour, a bit of a statement, you do it that. It's a great way, yeah, exactly. It looks great against your blue sweater. Yeah, you yeah. can definitely play around with this colour. Are you opening it? I'm having to give it There we go. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Um, so, yeah, all the same features as the blue backpack. It's got a spacious interior, it's nice and clean. You've also got that handy little pocket here. And for me, I. So I have a backpack that you can wear a top handle as well. And if you're, say, going f- from um, just running around London and to then, then having to go to a meeting, yeah, you, you can, can then just top. use it as a top handle. Rather than walking in, sleeve yeah. your shoulder looks a bit too casual yeah. and formal. So I think so, yeah. that's really good for that option as well. It fits um, a 13-inch laptop as well. And it's just a really, it's so comfortable as well. Yeah, I know. I love these. It's um, in the vintage market, often these come in black or brown yeah. and beige, but it's really unusual to see it in these uh, pop colours of the ostrich blue, which is available right now, as well as the pink here. This colour is stunning though. Yeah. And what do you think of the condition? Condition wise, again, it's in a very good vintage condition. It's got light signs of wear to the corners. I'll flip the screen quickly so you can see. see so is that angled okay? yeah perfect so the overall body is nice and clean there's no wear to the suede at all there's light signs of use to the corners but it is a vintage so as to be expected there's no color transfer to the back mm. as well and then the interior is nice and clean yeah i like the little contrasting uh, yeah that... monogrammed uh, design inside so a really really nice condition yes yeah. so i think we might be ready for the price on this one yeah. Let us know in the comments. I'm, I'm interested. For a work bag, do you use a tote style or do you use a backpack? Mm. I'm interested to see because I'm a backpack girl. Yes. Backpack or tote? Yes. Or both? So, so oh, 
475 pounds so yes. another incredible price which is 644 dollars so we have these two available both really special pieces as winnie mentioned we never see them in a vintage in a in a color very often so you just tap on that link um on the square in the corner and you can shop rare vintage backpack yes yeah. and it's a real affordable piece and a practical piece which is oh lots of people saying tote oh, ah okay only maybe you're not the only one. Maybe I'm the only one out there. So following on for more uh, Gucci, let's do the bag, the it bag of the season right now, which is the Gucci. This is the Bardot bag. Um, sometimes it gets confused with the oh. Gucci. Um, Jackie. Jackie bag, yeah. Because yeah. I think the Jackie bag's um, hardware slightly different. The Bardot mm. bag has a piston style. It pops over like this. Uh, piston style and it's named after Brigitte Bardot the oh, French cool. actress yes so so this is a featuring the is it the Gucci Supreme uh, uh, yeah. Gucci, no not the Gucci it it's the Supreme the, the Supreme um, canvas uh, exterior which is of course the house brand and the house design of Gucci and this is a hobo style bag and it is uh, I would say it looks black I think it's black, yeah. yeah. Black and a light brown colourway with silver hardware. And overall, the condition is very good. With some gentle signs of wear along the corners of the bag. But the back has no colour transfer. It looks near new. And the side panel also looks great as well. And it's hobo style, as it's, a, it's actually so cool. a sh shoulder bag. And I would say this is a 90s piece. And the hardware is also in very good condition. Actually, I love the way that it's a... Uh, you pop that in and then you press the button to open the bag. And then inside, it is lined with the Gucci lining and it has an interior zip pocket as well. And you can see the, the condition inside is very good. Mm. Um, there's no makeup wear or it's been well looked after. Um, and these are just the very chic, uh, classic bags. And I think they're great for like, if you're going on a work function of work wear. Yeah. Quite smart looking, yeah. isn't it? And it's nice that you can fill it on your shoulder as yeah, well, and it, comfortably. Yeah, the hobo style bags are actually designed to be very close to the body and also to be worn over the mm. shoulder. Um, so for me, this is the ultimate style of bag now. What these brands are reintroducing into their collections. So it's exactly like the Prada with the Clio bags. It's yes. this whole new vintage yeah, yeah, yeah. shape. Yes, that has made a huge comeback and they are a premium price. Now, Gucci do a similar style as this and it's around 2,000 pounds. Yes. So definitely for me to get a, a shape that's super on trend at the moment, I would rather go vintage than yes. buy premium. And this is a really good piece. Yes. And of course, you know, it's a vintage piece, though not that many people have the same exactly. bag. Exactly. So uh, yes, it's a beautiful piece. The hardware shows very minimal signs of uh, tarnish. Uh, still, this is still in good working function as well as this one and you can just see the little Gucci detail here so I'll just give that a quick spin um, overall the condition is good oh, I love this one. I this know, is actually like... one of my favourite pieces from today yeah it's quite a... and I would say you can fit a laptop phone uh, wallet keys yeah. everything you need and uh, I think it's a very chic, super chic bag it look great with um, a suit if you what you know if you need to go to a meeting or are very casual with you know jeans and t-shirts so so we're getting a thumbs up from rachel the price is ready but i want to try it on quickly. okay <laughs> sorry rachel <laughs> oh i love her <laughs> i do she's so special yes so i'd say this is a late 90s or early 2000 so rachel give us the price oh winnie this is so special this bag and i think this is going to Four hundred pounds. That is a deal. Wow. That is such a brilliant price, which is roughly five hundred and forty-two US dollars. Now, if you are just joining in, my name is Winnie. I'm the commercial director of Luxury Promise, and I'm joined by. Hi, my name's Shade. I'm the executive product specialist at Luxury Promise, and this is my new bag. <laughs> <laughs> 
And Luxury Promise is the number one place right now for authentic and luxury uh, these are pre owned vintage bags and where we are specialists of. So, um, right now, um, it's very much an interactive show, and you'll feel welcome to shop the icons at any moment, tap on those pictures, and that'll take you to cart. Yeah. And, uh, and we also ship worldwide, so any US customers or any non UK customers, we are covering your customs of, and duties during the show. There we go, we're too kind to you. <laughs> so, uh, so this bag is £400 and it's available right now to purchase. Yeah. And oh, uh, Daniela loves your oh, shows. Oh, thank you, Daniela. Oh, well, I feel a bit like I haven't done it in ages, but I did one on Saturday with Crystal, oh, so yes. well, I feel like I'm a bit out of it today. <laughs> so let's move on to, this is a cute bag. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, yeah. it's a little Dior. I know, because last time when we got one of these, these flew out straight yes. away. So this is similar print to the little bucket bag, but this is like a, a little sort of crossbody style bag. And I do love this bag. Um, it features like a honeycomb design. It's a PVC um, uh, canvas exterior with leather trims with a Dior logo print. And I would date this around about 80s. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a, you know, 80s to maybe mid 90s. Um, overall, this is um, in good condition uh, with what I love about it, it has a little Dior logo on the side. Um, there is some gentle wear along the bottom of the bag, just very, very minor. But what's really sweet about that, this bag is it comes with oh. a little bonus pouch. This is so handy. These well. are incredibly handy and it is detachable. Yes, Whoa. it's detachable. So you could actually use this as a little card holder or makeup bag or as a little mini clutch bag as well. So you're getting two for one with this bag. Um, this is actually designed to be worn like a, a shortened bucket bag. Mm. So it's like a, a crossbody style bag um, with a drawstring top as well. It's cute, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really nice. Yeah. And practical as well. Yeah, so you can go hands yeah. free. And I love what the trim of it. It's like a camel colour, which yeah. is really sweet. It's quite a nice contrasting. And it really complements like this sort of khaki tone of mm. the of the um, exterior. It's a drawstring closure, and the interior is uh, nice and clean. Very good, clean condition. Oh, Jess is finally catching your show on a Monday. Welcome <laughs> to the Monday show, Jess. Jess, there might be some jewellery coming <laughs> up, <laughs> so keep an eye. Yeah. So do you want to try that on? So I'm five foot six, really comfortable crossbody, but you're also five foot... Uh, I'm about five foot three. Yeah, and it works it's, well yeah. on your height as yeah, well. So a definitely shorter. a really nice length crossbody. Yeah. Um, and yet it's really easy to wear. Is it adjustable? I can't quite remember. Is the... No. Is it adjustable? Oh, it's at the back. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. No, it's a fixed uh, length uh, strap, but if you can see that, you know, even though uh, Sade is a slightly taller than B, it still feels comfortable yeah. on both of our heights. Definitely. Yeah. So let's see if it's ready for you guys to shop. It yeah, is. It is. <laughs> I'm excited to see the price of it. Winnie. 395. 395 for this vintage to your bag. Yes, it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> and as Winnie mentioned, the last vintage show I did with you, these Dior um, vintage pieces just flew Dior, out. Yeah. So definitely grab this if you love it, because we may not come across it again. Definitely. All you have to do is tap here, and you can check can, out. Exactly. At any time, and it could be yours, and we do ship worldwide as well. Definitely. Uh, v is watching while having my dinner. Ah, oh, she's so having... Nice. What are you eating, V? <laughs> Should v? we turn this into an eating? <laughs> Oh, I wonder what tea you're having. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you for joining us anyway. Definitely. So this bag is available to purchase. All you have to do is tap on the icon and it'll take you to cart. Okay, okay. I know we should leave this till the end. But go ahead. But can we show this one, Winnie? Of course you can. I know. Oh, this bag I is stunning. I saw this today in the Instagram promos and I was like, I can't wait to see her. Yes. So it's a Chanel vintage. It's got that jumbo 24 karat gold gilding CC logo to the front. Again, in a really beautiful baby blue tone. Almost duck egg blue again, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
I know, it's so uncanny. It looks very similar yeah. to the blue. It's almost similar, oh right? God. This is beautiful. Really. Yeah, I love that colour. So it's crafted from that lambskin leather. There's no tarnishing to the hardware at all. It's almost like a shopper style because you've got the two um, chain detailing here with the intertwined leather strap. And it's so, this would work for day and evening. Definitely. Which is so rare to have it with a bag this size to be able to wear it for more than one occasion. Yes. Um, oh, the CC lock actually is here. So you can twist it like to the front. Yeah. And then it's got this little compartment inside, which is nice and clean. It's the same CC lock that you see on the vintage Chanel jumbos. Yes. But it's nice to see it on a different style bag. Oh, we need to do a flip screen on yeah. this guy. So let's give you a closer look tarnishing is um hardware has no tarnishing to it at all it's still really beautiful and shiny mm. there's barely any signs of wear to the corners at all the base is nice and clean mm -hmm. corners and as we switch it around there's no color transfer to the back at all no oh and it's got this little handy pocket it, it, yeah and we'll flip it to the front again yeah uh, what is really nice about this bag, um, it is all original colour. It hasn't had any colour trans, um, colour redye or touching. Oh, wow. So this is the original colour, which is, makes this bag ever more special. Also, it comes with, uh, from my memory, yes, it does. Is it in this pocket? Yes. It comes with its serial sticker and it comes with its authenticity card. It's a three series, so making this uh, from 94... Uh, is it 94? Yeah. 93, 94, I think. Oh no, it's my date of birth. That's why I think I love it so much. <laughs> I actually think you fall more in love with a bag that's your date of birth what as well. What makes it special? Doesn't it? Can you imagine a bag the same age as you? Do you have a bag the same age as you? I'm looking for one. Oh. I am looking for one. But I'm much older than you, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, that it comes with its Chanel little a care booklet, which are like gold dust. So if you're a, a fan of vintage Chanel, these booklets don't often come with the bags. And these were actually supplied uh, with all the bags sold uh, during the 80s and 90s. And it's really interesting because it tells you how to look after your bag. And it gives you very good insight on um, hat like for example it actually confirms the metal parts of your handbag are gilded with alloy containing 24 karat gold which is sometimes sensitive to sea air and acidity and the acidity of your skin um, chanel chains and other metal parts can be re-gilded uh, and there's another one oh yes if your handbag gets wet do not wipe it but absorb the water by patting gently with a fine woolen cloth so it's quite handy, isn't it? All this information. I think when, if I have children, I'm going to read this to them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is a little quick um, uh, good night book. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, really, really. So, I mean, this bag it is amazing. So I'm sure not many people have come across this colour, no, this style. Um, the fact it comes with its serial sticker card as well as that care booklet booklet uh, the uh, hardware is excellent and it is the ideal hmm. shoulder bag I wonder if you quite as a crossbody do you, you try it? let's give it a try let me try it mm, oh no okay. i don't think so i don't think so maybe we'll uh, have a bit, i've not got a quick no yeah, no okay. no but yeah really really beautiful shoulder bag and just quickly do the measurements before we reveal the price it from shoulder to the drop it's around 12 inches so it sits comfortably uh, around hip height, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And width-wise, it's equivalent to 11 inches across, a good medium-sized bag, and 9 inches up as well. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's excited for the price, Rachel. Yes. So, quick recap before we reveal the price. It's rated very good condition. Oh, now I've got the price. Oh my goodness. Uh, 3,800 pounds, which is 5,155 US dollars. Wow. So sir. just to cap it, recap again, this bag comes with its serial sticker, an authenticity card, as well as care booklet is rated very good. And the uh, it's from 93 to 94. And it's available to purchase just there this is stunning guys yeah this is my one of my favorite bags ah. from today's drop the hardware can almost pass as rose gold it, mm. 
No, it's, no, it's probably yeah, it's definitely yellow yeah. gold. It's probably the lighting now shop at the moment, but it's definitely yellow gold, Tony. S- someone wants to see the timeless full flap next. And I have I've seen uh, a thing called Alicia. It wants to see the beige flap next. Okay, we'll do okay. two of them for yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's do the beige flap first. Uh, we have a couple, but I'll do this one first. This is this is a really cool vintage yeah. piece. Um, this is a lambskin um, single flat bag. I would say it's equivalent to a 10 inch medium, or maybe it's a nine inch. Let me just quickly measure it. Um, how much is it? It's a nine inch, nine. so it's equivalent to a size small. Sorry, thank you. And this is in wonderful condition. I just love this sort of like wave effect mm. of the single flap bag. Um, the side panels are very good. There's no color transfer to the back, and you could just see that beautiful um, ma- uh, matte sheen of the uh, lambskin leather, and the hardware is excellent, which features the 24 karat gold gilding. I'll just show the corners. Uh, hardly anywhere to the corners of the bag. Now, what's really lovely about this bag is it comes oh, with. Oh wow! I, I know. love this so much. It comes with a little bonus pouch. I wonder why they stopped doing that. Now. I know it's, it's such it, a handy thing to have. Exactly, it's such a useful thing to have. It's a little flat little pouch. You can use that on its own. Yeah. Use it as a wallet, and it sits. It's designed. Can you see there's a little popper there? Um, it's designed so it pops, that pops back in there so it can okay. always hold it in place so it never gets lost. Isn't that very clever? Uh, lovely, good, clean condition inside. It comes with a serial sticker only and this is a one series from 1981, no, 1989 to 91. And it's a single flat bag with a fixed chain so it really, you mm-hmm. have to wear it as a crossbody oh, bag. Because uh, a lot of our customers do ask if the vintage um, wear it can be worn crossbody, mm-hmm. and this is definitely a crossbody style bag. Do you want to try it? Off? Yeah, and I think always it's always great to have a beige bag, like beige cream bag, in your wardrobe. Yes, because it is such a classic. Um, you can wear it in all seasons. I'm a big fan of winter whites, so yeah. this works really well with it. Yeah, and yeah, it's a really really nice crossbody, and then you can also do the little Gracie trick on it. Where you can, and double, you can the... double up the chain. I always do this wrong. Okay, got it. Oh, ah, it. so it shortens the chain. Yeah, it shortens so you can the wear chain. it as a. And then it can wear it, be worn more of an evening bag as well. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Love I mean, this. And I think, like you said, beige is such a good neutral tone. Yeah. And it's seasonless colour. You can wear it in the winter, you can wear it in the spring, right through to summer. Definitely. So it is a beautiful bag. Let's know the price. What's the price, Rachel? <laughs> the price is three thousand seven hundred pounds, which is uh, five thousand and twenty US dollars. Mm. And remember, guys, if you're watching this from outside the UK, we are covering your customs and duties uh, during the show. So mm. the price you see. It's the price you pay, there's no other hidden costs. Yeah. Hidden. I'm going to tell the audience a bit of, it's made me giggle a little bit, a bit of behind the scenes. So Winnie's lives always run the smoothest, I've noticed this. Really? Yeah, because we all organise our own lives. So yeah. when we do say the prices, we actually don't know the prices ourselves because we all arrange these yeah. ourselves. And your drop always runs the smoothest. Oh, behind the you. scenes. With my kind of drops, it's like, this isn't acting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy. You have amazing drop. Remember to watch the Shadow's drop. Is it coming up on Wednesday? Wednesday. So um, you always have amazing pieces in yours. So it's yeah. But this is ready. Tap yeah. here and you can take it home. Could we see the maxi? Yes, Yasmin. We'll go to that okay. next. Sure. This is actually the ultimate bag as well. Yeah. I mean, Jan's been a very good eye because not only is it a maxi, it's caviar skin Caviar. Having and it's that. vintage. So you very rarely come across a vintage caviar piece. I wonder why that is. Was caviar really not a thing like in the I 80s, 90s? I don't think they offered it until much later. Okay. Maybe the creation of that grain leather wasn't available in the very, very early days. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is um, a maxi with that jumbo CC logo to the front, again in the 24 karat gold gilding hardware. Now this one actually has a double chain this time. Um, so again, you can fit it perfectly on your shoulder and it also fits as a crossbody. So to the front, you have that CC turnstile lock closure. And as we open the bag, it's a single flap. Yeah, it's a single flap. Which I love, really easy to 
yeah. access all your items. Yeah, so depending on um, how much you open your bag, a single flap is actually probably an easy, a better option mm -hmm. if you don't want that fussy second flap. So, yeah. And then you have that handy little back pocket as well to keep your keys or your cards and things that you need to have easy access to. Now, condition-wise, there's no tarnishing to the hardware again at all. Um, and corners are really, really good. There's light signs of use, but nothing too dramatic. There's no um, colour transfer to the back. And I'll flip it for you all. I need to go this way. <laughs> Uh, so uh, this is a vintage piece and I need to mention that this bag does not come with its serial sticker. Okay, but we do offer all the authentication certificates. As well as our own Luxury Promise Guarantee card. There you go, really, yeah. really nice condition. I'm going to try it on my uh, Anna Christina has asked, it wasn't popular with caviar, people wanted lambskin and was made in France bags. Ah. Yeah. Teaching us something. Yes. Um, and you know I always do this with a big bag, but you can wear them as like a really cool oversized clutch as well. Yes, you could tuck that in. You could actually wear this because it has a movable chain. You can wear this crossbody as mm. well. It might run a bit long. Might have to feed the chain yeah. through. Yeah, there we go. Actually, you can do it so this hangs a bit oh. at the back as well. Yeah, and it. It's not falling no, through, is it? No, it's not. Because of the chain with so, it. <gasps> oh, that looks so cool like that. Right, let's, let's We've do done that. a grace. We've mm -hmm. done a grace. We have reinvented we have. something. <laughs> so because the, the, the chains are so chunky from this era, yeah. that they they don't move as easy as the ones that do yeah. now. But this is a good thing. Yeah, because, because you can wear it um, a bit shorter. Yeah. And it has a little, like a satchel top handle. Yeah, that's really cute. Yes. So... Winnie, you need to try this on. Yes, let me try it on. Cute little bag. Uh, I would say this is equivalent to 12 inches, so yeah. it's a classic jumbo bag, not the maxi bag, it's a jumbo bag. You see, yeah, it's, it's cool. cute. Again, day, evening, all occasions, it works really well. And if you're a fan of those winter whites, really beautiful in the winter, and then obviously you can make it brighter and lighter in the summer. Yes. And I think we're ready to reveal the price on this beauty. So this bag is only £4,800, wow. uh, uh, which is a brilliant price, mm -hmm. especially with vintage. And not only that, caviar skin going up as mm -hmm. well. Remember, like what Christina was saying in our comments, um, it wasn't as popular uh, because everyone wanted lambskin back then, meaning that there were fewer produced in that era. So this makes it a very rare piece. Mm. This is fourth. As this is available for four thousand eight hundred pounds or uh, five thousand one hundred fifty-five US dollars, and you can just tap on that icon just there if you want to see further information. I've seen these advertised for ten thousand pounds and above. Yes, it's crazy what they're going for. Yeah, it is mad as well. So let's go for this one. Yeah. I think somebody was asking about the timeless flap. So this is a equivalent to a seven inch mini uh, full flap bag. And um, it's a really ideal, it's almost like a, a wallet on chain mm. size, isn't it? And uh, this is in wonderful condition. It's crafted from lambskin leather. Um, to see, if I spin the back, um, that lambskin leather um, overall is in good condition. Um, it has not been colour re-dyed or retouched, so you can see that beautiful buttery sheen on that lambskin leather. And the gold tone hardware is overall in excellent condition with hardly any tarnish or um, any chipping to the hardware as well. Now, the beauty of these little mini crossbody style bags is you can wear it. Yeah. I actually prefer this to the wallet on chain. Yeah. Because it's what, more structured. More structured. It's wider, so you yeah. can put a lot more in. And also, because it's, it's, we call it a full flat because it touches to the wall towards the bottom, which means um, it's easier to store your items. And this lovely piece um, comes with a dust bag, the Chanel dust bag, and serial sticker as well as authenticity card. And this is a one series from 1989 to 91. So it's such a good buy and look and it has lots of little um, slip pockets as well and this little mini one is uh, designed to put your lipstick in there so uh, and you'll definitely be able to fit your phone in there yeah absolutely do you think your max pro yeah 
Yeah, it's and wide so. enough. Definitely wide enough. It's a, it's equivalent to seven inches wide, so it, you know it's a decent. Um, and it's black. Yeah. And it's black. Yes. And let me just show the condition up close. Just that shine on it, it's just so it's spectacular. spectacular. Yeah. And I'll just show the top as well. Very minimal wear along the top and the gilding on the chain is excellent. And it's just such a lovely bag. I no, know. I agree, Beverly and Viv, it's such a lovely bag. It's such a, it's called the timeless bag. Yeah, and you can see why. You can see why, we'll just go with everything. Do you wanna try that on? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Everything tonight is just so classic, but so Yeah, fun. so chic. Yeah. That's what we love about this. Are we ready for the price, Miss Rachel? <laughs> and the price oh, is £3,500. £3, wow. Incredible. You know, it is incredible. So you're getting a lovely vintage piece, £3,500. It includes the serial sticker, the card, as well as the dust bag. So, and it is a great length for crossbody, I agree, yeah. Beverly. And to shop, all you need to do is just tap on the icon. I don't think I've ever seen this before. No, yeah, I know, it's, it's just yeah. so cute, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we've had ones in the past, but it's slightly wider, yeah. slightly bigger, but never the seven inch mini size, which makes it rarer. For some reason, when it comes to vintage bags, smaller the bag, bigger the price. Mm. <laughs> Same with Hermes, yeah. so they, yeah. Um, I think we sold something earlier. Oh yeah, let us know what's sold. sold. If any of the team members on here, that'd be great. I wonder if one of the uh, backpacks sold. So let's move on. Oh, let's. Yeah. 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 So Celine, Celine. So this is a vintage Celine. Now, if anyone knows, I'm a huge fan of that feminine, masculine kind of look. So it's a brief case style but you definitely could fit your laptop in it um and how i would just personally wear this with an oversized blazer looking all like a boss <laughs> you are <laughs> <a> boss. <laughs> but you can also wear it like a document yeah match. and it's quite unisex i feel like i think it could be male or female to wear this ah yeah so it has that vintage celine logo which they have now reintroduced um and it does show light signs of wear to the lever to the top but i think that just like you can't really see it because it kind of mixes in with the bag which i think is so um nice about it so it's got that zip closure so your items are nice and safe throughout there's light signs of wear to the corners the base is clean and you could have so much fun with this bag i know yeah definitely because of the colors as well they're really easy to wear and pair yeah um but dress wise oversized blazer some biker shorts in the mm -hmm. summer and you could definitely get yeah. ready to go to work with this so yeah, definitely and also uh celine um are relaunching the macadam design which is this little classic mm. uh design called the triumph the pattern's called the triumph so this is all being you know reintroduced again and um you can, uh, you can see where the inspiration is coming from so what's the price on this Little practical vintage bag. Yeah, I would also, if I had a partner as well, I'd gift it to him. Yeah, because it would what, look really cool. Yeah, I think it's, a, I well. think it's a, um, you know, it's a, a unisex bag. Yeah. You know, it's a, was designed to be a document case. Mm. So, but I reckon for an hour days, we can if that this can definitely, definitely fit a fifteen inch laptop. Yeah, what do you reckon? And it does look very chic as a clutch bag yeah. as well. This is such a you bag, I feel like. Yeah, I love that. I like the way the handles move up yeah. and down. That I could just play with all day. <laughs> Isn't that clever? Yeah. And it is ready for the price. It is only three hundred and ninety-five wow. pounds, which is a great price, or five hundred and thirty-five US dollars. So you just need to tap in the corner here and you can add it to your cart and see further information. But honestly, the prices tonight are insane. Yes. So we've got a request to see some Dior Oblique. Yes. Let's start with this one. Is it Alexandra? She was asking. Yes. So we have the large Oblique uh, bag. This is a large travel size bag and it's equivalent to 40 centimetres across. And the Oblique um, design uh, was actually first introduced, I think, in the 50s 
Mm. So I prefer yeah, these are 60s, is. yes. And, um, and it's the classic monogram design. And this is uh, designed to be a travel bag. And this, considering the age of this bag, is in wonderful condition. Um, you could just see that beautiful uh, canvas exterior. There's no age spots or any other spotting colors to it. Um, there is a little bit of wear just here, but the corners is incredible for the age of this bag. I would actually date this bag probably at least 40 years old. Mm -hmm. It's been well looked after, has a zip top opening, and it has the um, blue leather top handle as well. And this is what it looks like on me. Yeah. Such a cool bag. Gym bag, gym travel bag. It's, it's just a really practical piece to have in your wardrobe. Definitely. Has it got a little bit of wear? Yeah, there's a tiny bit of wear just there, a little scuffing just there. Mm. But apart from that, it's in wonderful condition. I think this is actually a good unisex bag. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I and you literally, well, I would, you would wear your cool little sneakers to the yeah, airport. Yeah, exactly. Your jacket. Yeah. You definitely could have so much fun with this. And it's, again, super on trend. Yeah, definitely. I'll just confirm the sizing one more time. Eight, 18 inches across, or around about, sorry, it's a bit bigger than that. It's actually around about 45 centimetres wide. So it's equivalent to a Keypole 45 mm. size. So it's a nice alternative to a Keypole, actually. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I, I prefer these over the Louis Vuitton Keypoles because you see less people wearing yeah. them. Yeah, yes, exactly. Um, and great, great, our lovely Gracie Works for us actually has um, this bag slightly smaller and she wears it a lot for work. Yes. So uh, let's just show the interior. Yeah. I believe the interior is also in very good condition. It's hand applying. A lot of stuffing. A lot of stuffing. All right, stuffing keeps its shape, yeah. which is important. That's where all the stuffing that Alfie was going yeah, to go on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 it's so nice Lovely and clean. And clean. And also these bags um, has an interior zip pocket as well. And just to let you know, all these vintage bags, um, it was actually have, they should have, sign of oh. authenticity, is a little Scotch guard um, label in there. The Scotch guard helps protect the bag against elements, uh, wear and tear. Mm. Yes, so it's been canvas treated. So yeah, beautiful condition inside. Okay, and the price, I'm sure Alexandra is yeah. wondering how she could get her hands on this bag. It is only 585 pounds. Winnie. I know, that's a brilliant price, isn't it? And honestly, these are so hard to source at the moment. So 585 pounds, which is $793. Tap the link here. We've never had it in this size. No. Like luxury promise no. before. Definitely Ever. Not. Yeah. So I think... If you're looking to gift somebody, you can gift it to me. Yeah, you don't want to gift somebody this. You want this. <laughs> yeah. I want this. So all you do need to do is just tap on the icon. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello, Rani. Right. So if that bag was a little bit big too for you, we do have a slightly smaller version here. This is the little almost like I think this is about thirty centimeters across. Yeah. So this is the small. Oh, I've got it. Oh, you've got it. Yeah. So this is the uh, oblique, small little Boston bag. Yeah, 30. It's about 30 centimetres across, so it's equivalent to a Speedy 30. It also features the uh, Dior oblique design. This is a vintage piece. Um, it has some gentle signs of use and wear, but overall is in very good condition. I'll just show the corners. Very minor scuffing to the corners along the bottom of the bag. And the exterior is nice and clean. It's also a zip top opening bag and has two integrated handles as well. So we will call this a Boston bag. So it's like yeah. a little travel bag. And I would say this is more like an everyday yeah. um, casual bag. Yeah, and what's good about them is they hold a lot as well. They take a lot of weight, which is good. Yes. The amount of stuff that Grace puts in hers, I'm like, how is that still going? Yeah, and it's how still... is that bag still going? Yes. <laughs> uh, Brianna, yes, that is navy. Yeah, they're both navy. They're oblique. both navy. Yeah, both navy oblique, uh, not black. And you can see the monogram design. Mm. 
And again, the Christian Dior reintroduced this oblique print in the navies, reds, and so on. So why pay retail when you can get a vintage Fish one? one? Yeah, so you get the original piece. Uh, oh, it's got leather lined. Yeah, so this one's a little bit more special because it is actually leather lined in navy. You can just about see uh, the lining inside. And it also has an interior zip pocket as well. Just show you, which is really handy. And I would say this is a very good, a very handy uh, sort of day bag. Yeah. Yeah. It really is, yeah. These are really great. Because I'm going to be a bit controversial. Not a fan of the Louis Vuitton Speedies, but this it's, I think uh, yeah. is so special. Well, the Speedies have their place, but not everybody has a Dior Oblique. Yeah. Makes it a bit well rarer. Yeah. So yeah, and I do like the silver hardware with it as well, which complements the design. So I don't think it will fit a laptop in, but you definitely can get an iPad in it um, and mm. lots of your daily essentials inside. So it's a really good piece to have. Yes. And the price, drum roll. <laughs> Ah, uh, I thought I was the only one, Sade. Ah, uh, <laughs> controversial. Controversial. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> my, next, my next live. I love the speed. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> and the price is, is five... only £515, pounds, yeah. uh, which is 698 US dollars. And so. you can tap the link and it will take you straight to the cart. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with Speedy, though. No, nothing, nothing wrong with Speedy. But we just like these ones better <laughs> for tonight's show. <laughs> oh, so yeah. there we go. It's all there. And again, these are so hard to come by at the moment. We are hunting the world to source these pieces, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. So um, definitely purchase this if you love it, because we don't know when we're going to get another one in. Exactly. So tap on those pictures to see further images. Uh, maybe, you know what? Let's do some jewellery. Yes. Let's throw in some jewellery. Uh, let's do. Let's That's do. That's stunning, Winnie. Stunning. Who loves a bit of vintage Chanel jewellery? Everyone loves. And this is beautiful. This is a vintage, uh, I would say 1980s um, Chanel brooch. See the little rhinestone detail to it. It comes with its box. And this piece is beautiful. The gilding is excellent. It hasn't tarnished. All the rhinestones are in place and it has a, a pin backing and it is has a Chanel, uh, signed Chanel as well. We'll do the Burberry vintage in a moment, Kaylee. Um, this, I mean, I love my brooches. Yeah. I think it's one of those pieces, piece, you could just wear it with, with anything and yeah. everything. And it really sort of elevates an outfit. This would look great on a blazer, or you can um, put it on a chain. Yeah. On a chain looks quite nice as a little necklace, or you can have it high up. I love it when people put it on just plain kind of a cashmere navy sweaters or whatever, because then it looks like so, a Chanel sweater. It does, doesn't it? I yeah, it's really nice how yes. people play around with exactly. it like that. Uh, it is equivalent to an inch and a half wide, so it's not a really big piece, but it's big enough for everyone to see you're wearing vintage yeah. Chanel. <laughs> And we want that. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. And I just love that sparkle detail yeah. to it. So, so nice. We'll flip the screen so you so guys can see. see the condition. What year is this from? Uh, 1980s. Oh, wow. Right. Cool. Love that. Yeah. Look Look at that sparkle. Yeah, it's in amazing condition. The gold gilding is excellent. And it would be um, gilded in 24 karat gold on a base metal. Yeah. And they are like white crystals, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Oops. So, so the oh, this <laughs> lovely vintage piece. It comes with its original box. I've got the box here. Oh, yeah, that looks That's cute. That's cute. That looks cute. Like if you have a button-up shirt. Yeah, a white crisp button-up yeah. shirt. And then and you, you just loop put it this through. There. Love that. Yes. <laughs> What's the price, Rachel? Oh, and it comes with the box. It comes with the box as well. Bonus. Mm -hmm. It is available for six hundred and sixty-five pounds, which is uh, nine hundred and two US dollars. These bad boys fetch like a thousand pounds. Yeah. So Whoa. it's a really, really great price. And Tap really, really that nice. link. Yes. This is stunning. It is really, really pretty. I just think brooches are a real timeless piece, and they 
a great way to uh, update and elevate an outfit. Definitely. Yeah. Hi. Oh, I was saying hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on to the Burberry. Um, he yeah. wanted to see that. Yes. Oh, I love this Burberry. Yeah, this is really. Oh, it's such a small little top handle. It's so cute, isn't it? It's like a, it's a vintage Burberry. That this is the front. Oh, this is the front. yeah. It is so. It's what we we call. I've called, I've described it as a dome shaped yes. bag. Yes. Um, dome shaped, almost like a bowling bag, like a micro bowling bag. So, I'm a huge fan of Burberry because I love clueless. I love all of those kind of preppy yeah, vibes. Yeah, and yeah. This Your Hillary from uh, <laughs> Fresh <laughs> Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you definitely can, obviously you can wear them in a sports luxe kind of wear, but I, how I like to wear my Burberry is in a very preppy way, because I think it just plays around with it a bit and you can have lots of fun with it. Yeah. So as Winnie mentioned, it's that dome shape, which is super unique. You've got the um, Burberry's logo to the front. So this is what Burberry was originally called, yeah. isn't it? Before it was, they um, it. it was always called Burberry's when it was Thomas Burberry's with an S. And the S was dropped in 1999 mm -hmm. when Christopher Bailey took over as the creative director. And uh, I think he wanted to make the brand more streamlined. Mm. So this is... Uh, this would predate, this would be uh, early 90s then, because if the 99, they would have dropped the S. So this is definitely an 80s, 90s yeah, piece. Yeah, definitely. But what's really clever about this bag, you can actually extend the sides by popping this open. Oh, nice. And it makes it bigger. Well, it almost looks like um, an Alma when it pops up. Yeah, like yeah. Isn't that adorable? I think this is absolutely adorable. And it's in excellent condition yeah. considering the age of this bag and this canvas is so durable i have like the speedy style of it and it is so so durable yeah you can just chuck it around great yeah. for day and evening yes yes um and it's lovely and clean inside oh and it has a burberry dust bag as well it's an original dust bag as well which is an added bonus and it has an interior slip pocket as well and um yeah because just quickly show you the vintage burberries will have the s and it has a, a knight, a knighted, uh, what do you call it? A knight, I guess. A knight, a knight yeah. yes. And this logo was dropped once it, um, from 99 onwards, where you just have Burberry mm. across. So. Shani's finding you funny, Winnie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, Winnie? I don't know. <laughs> I hope I am funny, like, in an entertaining way, or not funny weird. <laughs> So, um, what's the lovely, what's the price on this lovely Rachel? So cute. Yeah. You could actually attach a strap. Um, you know those detachable straps, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely. Wear it as a crossbody style bag. Wow, so it's only £350, which is $474. You just need to tap on the link here and it will take you to further images and it can be your new bag. Definitely. So more Burberry. Uh, we've got two other Burberries. Oh, yeah, this is like the slightly old um, the khaki model. It also has the Burberry's uh, logo with the knight, a mounted knight on there. And what's nice, it's almost like an oval shape uh, bag. And this is a satchel style bag, uh, crossbody style bag, and it has an adjustable strap as well. This is a vintage piece. I'll date this from the 80s to the 90s. And it has like that streamlined Nova check which um, Ch uh, Chanel uh, uh, Burberry is known for. Um, it has a canvas exterior with leather trims, and this is great as a casual yeah. crossbody style bag. Really mm. easy. And again, the colours are really neutral, really easy to wear. Um, this looks great on you, Winnie. Yeah. Actually, she actually looks quite cute with my outfit, yeah. right? This outfit, how cool is Winnie's outfit tonight, <laughs> by the way? Uh, my husband said, are you wearing pyjamas to work? Men don't know. I know, I know. I like these because these are stretchy, <laughs> elasticated waist. <laughs> so, um, yes, so, I mean, this is in good condition with just gentle size of use. I just love that khaki contrasting uh, colourway. And inside also is in good clean condition. It has an interior slip pocket as well. 
And I love how that gold logo just pops against the, the brown. Yeah, it's such cool, isn't it? Mm. It's just so old school. That's what I like about this bag. Mm. And with the handy adjustable shoulder strap, I think that is, uh, you know, an added bonus. So you can adjust it according to your height. Do you want to give that a try? Yeah. So you can demonstrate. Yeah, so super cool. Go hands free, grab hands a coffee. Free. And for me, if you're somebody that wants something a bit more understated, this definitely works mm -hmm. for that um, situation. Yeah, so definitely. So the price on this bag, <laughs> it is only two hundred and seventy-five pounds. Wow, which is a great price for a vintage Burberry piece. Definitely. Which is uh, three hundred and seventy-three US dollars. There we go. So it is there, ready for you to shop. Somebody wants to see the Chanel. This one here. Sure. Okay, let's give that super special piece. Yeah. So we have a classic Chanel vintage flat bag. The holy grail of all Chanel bags, but it's incredibly special because it's got the bijou chain. I love my favourite yeah, chain. Yeah, I prefer this Me chain. Me too. I, I think, think it's, it's so beautiful. It's like a piece of art, yes. isn't it? Jewelry. That's what I've yeah. yeah. So um it has the bijou chain, which is the 24 karat gold gilding, and then you also have the classic CC turn style lock to the front. Crafted from a buttery soft lambskin with still has its sheen to it. Can you see that in the light? And then as we open the bag, it's a double flap with that burgundy interior lining. And the condition of it is just out of this world Amazing. for a vintage piece. Yeah. Look, no signs of wear to the interior at all. It hasn't been colour retouched. The corners are still in an absolutely brilliant, excellent condition. You have the dust bag, the original dust bag with it. The series of it is, let me I think it's a one series. Is it one series or two? I can't quite remember. Oh. We're both blind. We're both blind. We've <laughs> got it's our glasses. It's, it's a one, one series. So it's a one series, for, so it's from 1989 to 91. And this is equivalent to a 10 inch medium size. Yeah. So before I do a flip screen, I'll show you how you can wear it. So you can wear it classically over the shoulder for a really nice evening wear. And then, does it fit up? Yes. So I think you yes. can wear it as a crossbody. There we go. You definitely can wear it as a crossbody, a high crossbody, which is actually yeah. my favourite style of crossbody. So you can really easily access all your items. Mm. Um, and then let's flip screen it for you. What is Jen saying? Okay, I'm in the shower, but... Coming for this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Let's close that quickly. So no signs of wear to the hardware at all. No tarnishing. Still beautiful and shiny. Corners again are nice and clean. Yeah, and this is in amazing condition. And the gilding is excellent. Isn't it's it? still the original gilding. It has not been regilded, so it's quite amazing for close to 40 years it mm. still has that beautiful yellow gold tone to the hardware definitely <laughs> i think everybody's excited for the price of this yes. you need to model it it looks yeah. great with your black and gray outfit and just quickly show the condition one more time the shoulder drop is it is so stunning, Jen. Jen, do you not have a Chanel bag or a vintage Chanel? I wasn't quite sure. It is. Not sure. Yeah. yeah. So it is doubled up. It is nine and a half inches, ah. which is around twenty-five centimeters. Yes. And the price of this is just three thousand nine hundred no. pounds. I know no. that is a brilliant price, uh, especially with classic. Flat bags. These retail for like eight thousand pounds. Yeah, now. we we resell some of the vintage ones about four eight. Mm -hmm. So this is about a thousand pounds under. So um, yeah. Oh, Jen, you have three. <laughs> we see you a lot with Hermes, so I wasn't quite sure if you if you were a Chanel girl as well. Um, so yes. it is there, ready for you to shop. Honestly, to get one in this condition is out of this world at this price. Oh, I do. I can rock this. You definitely yeah. can. Yes. So there yeah. you go. Shop it, make us all jealous, and send us some photos. So to, ta uh, to tap on that picture just there, it's available right now to purchase. <laughs> it's online. Yeah. <laughs>
somebody was asking about the Christian Dior bucket bag, mm. I think. Let me just quickly scroll through the uh, comments. Uh, Philippa, that's it. Right, so here you go. This is the um, bucket bag. Let me actually put some stuffing in it yeah. so you can see uh, what it's like filled up. That's it. Thank you. So um, it's like a shortened uh, bucket bag. It's shorter in depth. However, it still fits a lot inside it. And it's ideally worn as a crossbody style bag. It's of a fixed length, so you can't adjust the, um, the, the size of the length, but actually feels to, for me, mm. it feels very comfortable. Yeah, really, really good piece. Yeah, it's a, it's a cute little shape. It's just unusual the way it is. And the bonus thing about this bag is it comes with a detachable pouch as well. So it's on a little popper so you can remove it. You can use the, it as a little card holder or a makeup pouch or a little mini clutch bag, uh, which is really, really handy. Mm -hmm. Overall, the condition is very good. I just need to show you there is uh, some light wear along the corners of the bag, but the main exterior is in excellent condition and it is a fixed length yeah. as well. So maybe we'll just show you one more time on Sade. And it's available right now, Philippa, if you want to tap on that icon, if you want to see further information, read up on the copy of the bag. Yeah, I think the shape is just so special. Yeah, it's just so cool. Mm. Yeah. Can I cool. show you this soft Yeah, sure. Shop, yeah, that's a great price. Yeah. yeah. So this is called a Chanel soft flap because it has all the flap detailing that you want to wear, but it's got more of a softer structure. Mm -hmm. So for me, again, it does feel very on trend because of the Bottegas that have brought back in like the soft structured of pieces, yeah. a bit oversized. Now this has a very special opening. Yeah, you push it down. Can you say that yeah. to the side? So you push it down like that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so really, really special. You very rarely see this. So as you open the bag, it's got that leather interior with that CC logo here. And then the interior, again, is nice and clean. The series of it is... Is it one series? I think it's a two. Two series. Was it a three? Oh, oh, it's a three series. It's three series. Actually, this is a really old bottle. This is a six digit. Uh, oh. So this is from 1984 to 85. So it's a, a good example of the early serialized bags mm. when I started it in serialized bags. So you have it, it's got a single chain to it. So it definitely is a comfortable crossbody bag. Again, it's in that really useful cream beige color, but super luxurious all at the same time. But because it's got that slouchy feel for me, it's a clutch bag. Yeah. Definitely wear yeah, it really could. nice. You could tuck in a strap. Yeah. yeah. Let's just tuck in a strap, actually. And you can wear it as a little... Oops. Love this piece. Again, it's one of those pieces that just feels so modern all at the same yeah. time as you knowing that it is a vintage Considering Ducey. this is 1984, it is close to 40 years. <sighs> It's amazing, it's like 37, I think, 37 years. And it looks so, um, so, it looks so current. Yeah, doesn't it? Mm. So can you see that again, like there's just gentle, gentle signs of use throughout. Again, that beautiful sheen to the CC logo. The base is nice and clean. And then it's got a really nice handy back pocket to it, which I love with my bags. Yeah. And that's nice and clean inside as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is so... So someone's saying the Dior is like the... Yeah, predecessor of the LV Maria. Yeah. Yes, you're right. So true. It looks very similar to the Noia as well, Rachel. You're right. Very. Could be. Well, I guess that everybody's inspired by everybody. I know. <laughs> yes. It's the beauty of it, hail yeah. fashion. Yes. So Winnie, I think you should model this. Yes, let me model it. I would wear it as a crossbody style bag. Yes. Yeah. And Do because it's a, as it's a soft structured bag, um, it's actually fairly lightweight as well, so uh, if you're worried about it being too heavy, uh, it's not. Yeah, it's super it's light, light actually. Yeah, because it's a lamb skin, not like caviar skin, where it has a bit more rigidity to it. So. Beautiful. Really nice.
yeah really good and it's a classic as well and if you wanted a flat bag in your wardrobe but a slight alternative then for me the soft structure's really easy to wear because it works for day and evening yeah um definitely okay and the price on this i just love that just to show that function one more time so cool this bag is very competitively priced at 2900 pounds which is a brilliant price for a unique one-of-a-kind vintage bag Definitely. and i just showed that cast one more time is that clever yeah and it's, it's a turn lock it's a flip down like a flip phone <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely stunning such an, an unusual bag and again now is the time to buy chanel because we are just seeing the prices increasing like crazy yes. can you say nine to eight is closer to the 30 years please ah no it's closer to the 40s <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> can you believe 90s is 30 years ago yeah it's crazy that it's 80s is <laughs> oh, yeah what's the... oh, oh should we show some some all over this yeah, yeah this is really nice um this is quite an unusual piece it comes with its original box and it's in excellent condition it's almost like a it's called a checkbook holder, but I don't know if checkbooks were small in those days, but I think it's actually ideal for putting cash. So it's a caviar skin pouch, and inside... Uh, oh, this is cool. We'll, now, we'll show uh, the travel bag as soon as I finish this, definitely. And it's still available, the travel bag. Um, it, it's, I think you could put cash inside, so mm. there's somewhere you could put cash inside, or you can put a checkbook, but no one uses checkbook now. So mm. I'd say this is good for, for, for storing cash. Or you can use it to put cards in. There's an a yeah. interior slip there for cards, and this also has an area for cards as well. And it's in excellent condition. Like, I don't think it's ever been used. I think you could definitely put your AirPods in there as well. Yes, exactly, you could put it in there. Because it's brown um, and fairly, um, you know, uh, rigid in shape, I think it's also a good unisex, unisex mm -hmm. gift as well. Yeah. Um, comes with its card. It's a two series from nineteen eighty nine, uh, from ninety one to ninety four, and it's in beautiful condition. Mm -hmm. It's crafted in Italy, and I love that moire. I think it's called mo moire, which is uh, like a silk woven um, lining. Wow which they don't do this anymore, Chanel. Mm. So it's, it's, you know, in wonderful condition. And the price of this little booty is, and it includes a card and box, so it's ready to go as a perfect Valentine's gift. <laughs> We're not gifting, this is for us tonight, really. Yes. For us. <laughs> well, people can gift us. Yeah. They can buy for us. Definitely. <laughs> So and definitely okay. brown is the new black as well. I, I like this brown. kind of cut brown. It's like brandy coloured or like dark brown. Mm. Yeah, it's a really, really, it's almost like sugar brown colour. Not like dark brown or... And for me, anything caviar that is small that you put in your bag. Because for me, it's the durability, especially if you're going to be swapping, changing bags, um, ruffling around for it. Caviar is super durable. Yes. Yes, you probably could attach your belt. You can oh, hook yeah. it here. That would be a good idea. You definitely could get a chain. That would look yeah. beautiful, actually. Definitely a good idea. And the price is just three hundred and fifty pounds, which is a brilliant Such price. Such a good price. Um, has everything card, serial sticker, as well as um, the box as well. Uh -huh. Just three fifty or four hundred and seventy-four US dollars. And all you need to do is just tap on that icon to shop. So let's go back to the Dior travel bag. I think Nav was asking about it. You yeah. wanted to see the big one. So it's the equivalent of, did we say 50 or 55 centimetres? Uh, 45. 45. So it's equivalent to a Keeple 45. Yeah. Hope that helps in context of the size, Nav. Um, and condition wise, um, corners, there's no signs of wear to the corners at all. There is a little oh. scuff mark there. Can uh, you see where is it? Uh, oh, here. Here. So yeah, there. there's some scuff marks to the bottom and to there, but very, very minor and a scuff mark there. But the actual canvas mm. is in excellent condition. There's no like age spots or, or dark spots, uh, which happens naturally when you're in storage. Yeah. It's been well looked after. And then the interior is nice and clean also. Mm -hmm. Guys, you made your first sale. Oh, oh did we bag. sell the uh, bucket bag? Oh, let us know who bought the bag. Yeah, 
it's a really, really good one. Uh, such an unusual shape. Ah, oh, amazing. Okay. So that will be shipped out to you tomorrow. Congratulations. Congratulations, whoever bought the bag. So, Nav, if you want to purchase this bag, I know you seem very keen, it's just there. It's £585. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, Philippa bought it. Oh, oh it's her first purchase from, from us. Oh, no oh, way. Way. Everybody, let's give Philippa lots of warm love and say congratulations. Oh, I'm so happy. So Good happy for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching us, Philippa. Now, welcome to the addiction. I'm yeah, joking. it's a slippery slope, it's a slippery slope. <laughs> from now on. <laughs> uh, do we ever get Bulgari bags? We do on a very, very occasion, yeah. don't we? Because it's not really a brand that we buy very often. We, I mean, we buy in the classic, like serpentine bags, serpentine, how is it? Yeah, serpentine, serpentine. Yeah. yeah. Serpentine bags. Um, but yeah, they don't, yeah, we just don't really buy them yeah. often. But However, if you, if you um, DM us at Instagram, your details, we'll look out for one for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's uh, move on to some more accessories. Yeah. We've got some amazing, I want to show this one. This is actually a fun piece. <laughs> I don't know what, I, I mean, whoever buys this, you, you need to let us, like, show us a picture of how you use this. It actually oh. was designed to hold a cigarette packet. No way! <laughs> yeah. It's your AirPods now. It's, it's AirPods, AirPods now, holder. yeah. Well, I was thinking you could probably put your sunglasses in there, maybe. Half the body of the sunglasses. <laughs> 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 but, yes, for, um, okay, maybe smoking's not the thing. It was in the 80s, but not now. These would be ideal as AirPods holder. Yeah. But this is a vintage Chanel um, pouch holder. And look at the horse hair. It's actually embossed with oh, Chanel. Wow. It's got a logo, Jane chain detail. And it has this beautiful contrasting pink lambskin trim um, all along the uh, sides as well. And it has this very, very long chain, which is ideal for wearing as a costume yeah. bag. So, um, yes, I think it's a really, really fun uh, piece. Pretty in pink Pretty, as well. Exactly, yes. And is uh, this golded? Yeah, yeah. gilded, oh. um, gold tone hardware. So. It's got the uh, serial sticker still intact. And I think this is a nine five series, so it's from ninety uh, seven to ninety nine. So it's just such a hand sanitizer. Do you oh have my goodness! Yeah, yeah, you've got a bottle of hand sanitizer. This might be a bit too big, but yes. Yes, good idea. What else? Oh, the life that we live in here now. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, oh, I could be the spritzer girl when you yeah. come into the shop. Handy. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> What else could we put in there? Um, I would put my TV control, remote controller in there. <laughs> so all the silly oh. things you could put in there. That's why we love vintage. Um, it's fun to be frivolous. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Um, it's actually quite a rare piece. Um, not many of these come on the market. And... Um, could it be worn as a belt bag? Uh, well, you can. So Chanel, the only free thing Chanel ever give you is a um, ex, um, a shortener, a yeah. clasp. So you could wear it as a belt bag, and then you could just um, buy one of those chain shorteners. Oh yeah, and, and then, then just clip it. Clip yeah. it. So, so if you if you put, like step through it, yeah, you could. Yeah. And definitely could. do it that way and buy yes. a chain shortener. Yeah. I love that, that chain detailing as well. I know, it's so cute. And the pony hair, I've, I've seen in the past, normally pony hair uh, sort of fades away, but this is actually in excellent condition. It hasn't, there's no like missing patches. Uh, it's maintained a good um, even um, mm. hair tone. So, and the interior is lovely and clean as well. This is, I love this. It's this such a so silly cool. piece that you have to... Uh, just in case you have garlic. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, mince. Mince, yes. Like um, two, bo probably two square uh, packets of the Tic Tacs. Yes. <laughs> yes, you could. Yes. Um, anything else we can put in there we can think of? Um, you can put your cards in there. You can put your keys in there. Yeah. Um, lipstick. You definitely can put some essentials in there. Yes. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. <laughs> we'll it's Chanel. We'll make anything Yeah, work. we'll make it work. <laughs> So, Rachel, if you could tell us the price of this unique item, unique and fun item. Of 
quickly measure it. It yeah. is. So this item is only six hundred and ninety-five pounds, wow. which is nine hundred and forty-two US dollars, and it's just a fun, unique piece. So, so it's around it? two and a half inches, mm -hmm. which is six centimeters. Six centimeters across, and then height is nine centimeters. Yes. So everyone agrees, cards and then AirPods. There we go. Yes, we'll make it work. And Cards. you know how much Chanel AirPods Airpod. holders cost? They're in the four figures, aren't they? They are in the four figures. Well over, uh, what, 1,500 pounds? It's Yeah. So why not just buy this? Yeah, this is a nice, you, and, no, and not many people will have this. It's quite a unique item. So I'll just show you it one more time. There you go. Okay, um, so, oh, Yes. One of the most requested items, and we haven't had one of these in ages. We have haven't. We? We've been looking for these for oh, ages. Yes. Oh, we have these beautiful vintage Chanel turn lock um, earrings, and these are so sought after. It comes with its original box, and um, let me take my glove off. Actually, yeah. Let's put one on each. Let's put one on each. Oh wow. How elegant are those? Yeah. And these, again, are just so hard to come by. They're so... And they're really comfy. Yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Really, and really such are. such a cool... Uh, and, I mean, these are in excellent condition. Let me just show you the gold building. It is uh, modelled after the, the famous CC turnstile lock that you see on the Chanel classic flat bags. Mm -hmm. um, these are gilded in 24 karat gold gilding and these are marked in uh, from 1996. They're signed Chanel. Yeah. I just let, need to let you know that one is 96A and the other one is 96P. What is that? So it, means it came from the same oh, year but different season. Okay. Yeah. It's a different season. And if you have been following the lovely CEO, Sabrina, on Instagram, you know you can wear these yeah. for all occasion, guys. Beach. Yes. Work. Swimming evening. with dolphins in the Bahamas. Swimming with dolphins in the Bahamas. <laughs> yes, Yasmin, these are gilded in 24 karat gold. That is the gilding, not the actual metal. <laughs> oh, and we've just sold something oh, else. Oh, have we sold the Dior travel bag? I think it has sold. Oh, Nav, did you get it? Hopefully, you did. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. So, these are wonderful. Let me just show the back as well. And you can see there is a Chanel, uh, Chanel uh, sign just there. Oh my god, I need these in my life, Winnie. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah. And they're, um, because it still has its original rubber um, setting there, it's really um, comfy to wear. And they feel, still feel very um, strong and secure as well. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Aww. So, I think everybody is Waiting raring for, for the, the price. price. And I'll quickly, actually, Rachel, I'll quickly flip screen them. Yeah, before you reveal the price. Oh, right. I don't want to drop them. Have you got it? There yeah, we go. Yeah, there you go. So no tarnishing at all to the hardware. They're in excellent condition. No tarnish, no chipping. All original 24 karat gold gilding. It comes with its box. And the price. is £1,295, wow. which is a great price Aww. for a collectible piece. These pieces very rarely come on the market and we have very seen rarely. the prices of vintage Chanel jewellery yeah. going up. So. And I'm not going to say, Grace brought a pair of these a year ago and I'm not even going to tell you how much she bought them Yeah, before. and now it, they're going for crazy prices. Crazy yeah. prices. I know. But this one is really unique because it's in such good condition mm. and comes with the box. Anyway, it's available to shop just right there if you tap on the icon. Uh, oh, everyone's congratulating Nav on her oh, purchase. Yeah. Well done, Nav. <laughs> oh, welcome, Farah. Um, we have so you if you're new to the channel because we can see there's a few people that have just joined so throughout icons will pop up and this is where you can shop the pieces while still listening to our beautiful voices and then to the bottom of the page you have a handbag icon and this is where you can see the full range from tonight's drop so welcome yes 
and you can tap on the icons at any time and it goes straight to cart to the website and you can view, view the pieces and check out the prices as well. And also we ship worldwide. And if you are shopping from outside the UK, we're also covering your customs and duties tonight as well. So even more of a reason to shop. Um, also tonight, it's all about vintage. So everything you see is all about vintage, unique, one of a kind pieces. So if you're new to vintage or if you are a vintage collector of designer bags, then this is the show for you. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I la, love la, these. La, 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 Did la. you know I was going to choose these next? No. Oh, uh, yeah, I had them in my hand. Did you? Yeah, I love these. Oh, I need to do a flip screen first. I know, because... they're so, so fun. Look at these. So they've got like the 24 karat gold uh, gilded gild ball, like uh, sphere. The spear, 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 yeah, and then you've got oh, that. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was like, spear. I didn't even want to. Yeah. I didn't even want to call them balls either. <laughs> Golden balls. Golden balls. <laughs> and then you've got the pearl drop sphere to the bottom. Will this be um, plated with? Uh, it's pearl, uh, yeah, uh, it's um, faux pearl, so oh, it would have some sort of like pearl enamel on the outside. Okay, but the actual gold um, tone. Hardware is 24 karat gold gilding. It kind of reminds me of the Dior Tribali, yes. tri tri Tribalis, yeah. or, um, the tribal earrings. So these are amazing. I just love And then love you've got that CC logo there. Yeah, these are incredible. These are actually quite rare because, whoops, still, still there. Still there. <laughs> it, um, it, they're, they're from collection 20, uh, 27 or 20 yeah collection 27 so these are from 1987 wow. which is incredible i just love how big they are okay. and um oh they just look so good on you sade i've got quite small ears so yeah but there you go aren't they just stunning yeah they're beautiful aren't they and they're very comfortable very very comfortable and um these are designed by victoire de castanet who was the uh, took over um uh, Chanel jewellery design it from 1983 up until 1994 I believe uh, she is now currently the head of design at um, Dior Jouloir Ju Ju Fine Jewellery um, she was actually the uh, apprentice or I think she started out as an assistant to uh, Karl Lagerfeld oh wow yes and um, but also it helps that she was the daughter of a very famous Brazilian financier oh. so nepotism <laughs> get you far there we go Alex but Brown. she was very talented and all those collectible pieces those big cc's she really played on the chanel um logos the symbols the 2.55 bags oh. the clovers it came from her wow. she was the one who saw the potential in those symbols and they're so iconic and they're now. so iconic right now they're so collectible so for any vintage chanel lovers you'll mm. know um, the Victoire Castanel um, designs and the condition of them is stunning incredible as well. and they're just fun pieces Sabrina would you wear these on the beach probably <laughs> while swimming with dolphins yeah. <laughs> and the enamel on the pearl detail is in very good condition uh, this one has nowhere I think this one only has a tiny little bit of peeling uh, but apart from that you can't really see it from wearing yeah. the gold gilding is excellent and I just love the shape let me let me wear both of them on yeah. actually and they feel very comfortable on Oh yeah, they look so good on you, Winnie. I love, I love. Yes. <sighs> Don't they just make you look so glamorous? I know, there's as soon something. As you put I them on. yeah. I just love them. 1987. Yes. Your birth year. Uh, and they're not too heavy, are they? No, and I like the fact that the CC is a bit more discreet. Yes. Depends on your character. These are a bit more like chic. You can just tell that they're very, very unique earrings. Oh, I just love these. Yeah. So, oh, I thank you. You know what, Jen? It's so funny. Actually, these did come from, I went to visit the client earlier. It came from a former Dior uh, fit model from oh, the 80s. Wow. Yeah, so she had Dior jewellery. She loved Givenchy and also these were her earrings as well. Funny you said that. It did come from an eighties fit model, so she was the house fit model. So that when they would test all the samples, mm -hmm. so she would be the perfect ideal Dior Love that. Uh, measurements. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, the price of this 
<laughs> uh, Rachel would be? Oh my goodness, there are only 1,295, which is 1,757 US dollars. dollars. So if you don't have these in your collection, then you have to get them now. So, because I think these will be snapped up fast by the end of the evening. Definitely. So just tap on the icon. And remember, we do ship worldwide. And if you are shopping from outside the UK, we're covering your customs duties as well. So no other hidden costs. Shall we show a little bag? We've only got a few bags left, but yeah. I'm going to show this one. We do the Diana. Yeah. yeah. So we always try and get you a Diana because as soon as we get them in, they fly out. So this is an alternative to a classic flat bag um, and it's called the Diana, which is well known for our dearest Princess Diana for wearing this style. So it's got that CC turnstile lock closure. And again, it's a single flap and it's got a single chain as well. So perfectly fits as a crossbody. One of the only vintage pieces that do fit as a long crossbody. Mm -hmm. It's got that burgundy interior to it. You do have its original dust bag as well, which is an absolute bonus. This bag comes with its serial sticker and authenticity Ooh, card, as well we as go. the dust bag we've just seen. So two, two series. series. So it's from 91 to 94. And this, uh, this bag is in incredible condition. Isn't it? Let me yeah. pop the dust bag back inside. Yeah. There's no signs of tarnishing to the hardware. Um, mm -hmm. And um, if we okay. quickly grab the, the skew, skew. It is. Ah. Is it not there? No. Oh, ah. it might be on the dust bag. Hear it. Oh, here oh, we yeah, go. Yeah. Um, it's AWL2232. Uh, AWL2232. Well, we're going to get that ready for you to be able to shop. Um, yeah, but the Dianas are so sought after. Um, and again, you're having a bit of kind of people starting to prefer the Dianas over the classic flaps oh, now. I think so. I think it's because yeah. it's more practical. It's a single flap and they're designed to be worn crossbody, so you mm. can go hands free. So, and it's a decent size. This is a equivalent to a 10 inch medium yeah. flat bag. So you can fit a lot of, lot of items in this bag. And I'd wear it as a crossbody style bag. Do you have a Diana? No. no. I'm surprised you don't. I want one, but they seem to fly out every time yeah. I, you know, make a decision to get one. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. That is so super, chic. super chic. And again, you can play around with it. You can, this would look really cool with a pair of tracksuit bottoms, some sneakers, but then obviously you can really dress it up and play around with it. So, yes. And what's the, the loopy thing? The loopy thing, yeah, the loopy thing. If you don't, if you want to wear it more like close to the body, like an evening bag, so you just tuck it in. Oh, so you double loop just underneath double the loop lap. underneath it, and then definitely it's more of an evening shoulder bag. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, and you can wear it like a handbag as well. Um, yeah, like. just on the crook of your. Yes. Yeah, I love this. Yes. Could you see the Hermes accessories too? Yeah, definitely. we'll we'll do that afterwards. And uh, I don't know if you're ready, Rachel, or there's any, while we read... Uh, yes, uh, our lovely Rachel's thumbs up to us. Okay. Thumbs up, that's not even a word. <laughs> and the she price says, of it, oh, £4,200. Uh, Incredible, which is only $5,698. And again, these are fetching a premium. You just need to tap the link here and you can shop it. Danielle is asking, what is the shoulder drop length? Let's get that for Let you. Let grab that for you. Let, well, Daniela will let you know. The full length from the shoulder, it is uh, 54 cent 53 centimetres, which is roughly... About 21 inches mm -hmm. from, from the shoulder. Yeah. Really Hope that helps. 21 inches. <laughs> Is it hard to be good girls whilst watching? I know. Oh. But look at that buttery soft lambskin. Have we flip screened it? No, not Let's yet. Let's quickly flip screen yeah. it. There you I'm go. about five foot three and Sade is five foot six. Yeah. That helps, Daniela. I but think we're average sight, height on between yeah. us. There would be an average. We height. haven't got legs eleven, Grace here tonight. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Really, really nice condition. Still has its sheen to it. The hardware has no tarnishing at all to it. And then if I flip it around, we can quickly show you the interior. Nice and clean. There and you it go. And includes the serial sticker, authenticity card as well. 
palette or dust bag as well. It's a two series from 91 to 94. I hope Definitely. that helps, Daniela. And if you want to read more information, you just tap on the icon just there. So let's move on to some Hermes accessories. Uh, we do, I think, I can't remember who asked. Uh, no problem. Uh, Yasmin was asking. So we have here, comes with its original box. And oh wow, it's actually a classic Kelly Bay set in palladium oh, hardware. This is so beautiful. Normally, we get gold hardware, but yes. it's nice actually to have palladium hardware. And it features the uh famous uh, uh padlock, the Kelly Backlock. Uh, this is about seven centimeters across, or uh, or for, fits a 16 uh, centimeter wrist, so it fits me fine. And um think the leather looks like it's swift leather but i can't place mine that grease yeah, asphalt i think it's swift. Do, you, do you know what the color is i think it's grease it's a gray tone color now this is arm candy you definitely could wear this as a statement bangle or stack it up layer it yeah up i think it, the tones yeah the i think it's a very much a layer you know a layerable piece yeah has the side Hermes logo underneath. And I just love that little tiny little padlock. Mm -hmm. It's so, so cute. So yeah. Ah, oh, Lena, your backpack arrived. Oh, it's so, I know what backpack you brought. It was really, really stunning. Uh, uh, but uh, Fajana, uh, if you can tell us which icon is not working, we will get that sorted for you. Um, was it the earrings or the um, Chanel bag? Just let you know. So overall, let me just quickly flip the screen. See the condition. See, link to the Chanel Diana doesn't seem to work. We'll get that sorted. Yeah, for somebody you. on the team will have a look. Really, really great condition. Really. Yeah, it's in really great condition. Palladium hardware with swift leather, and it has a dark grey to black uh, looking uh, colour tone of the leather, and it. What's really nice, it comes with its box as well. Mm -hmm. ah. It might be, Rachel, that it needs to be um, set to all, sa all channels set. That makes sense? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it needs to be active. No? Oh. Unless it has been sold. Maybe. You can um, just give us um, a WhatsApp or a DM though and we'll definitely look into it for you. Yeah, we'll find that. don't know why that is not working. So back to this uh, Palladium heart, um, uh, Kelly bangle. We can reveal oh, the I've price. I've just seen the price. It's really good. But... Yeah, it is. I think this Have is a really sneaky. great gift item. Yeah. It comes with this little box. I like the way you can sit the bangle inside the box. Mm. And it's just timeless. Yeah. Price is. <clears throat> is it working now for the Diana? Oh, it's working now for the Diana flat bag. So if you want to shop it, definitely click on the link. Maybe refresh your page. Yeah. Um, Yasmin, or is it? I can't remember who was asking. Yeah, now it's working. Oh, I love that. Everybody is like, now it's working. <laughs> you can all work on our tech team. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All this lovely moral support. <laughs> This uh, Kelly Bangle is only available is available for three hundred and seventy five pounds, which is an price. incredible price, and it comes with its original box as well. And this is a vintage piece as well. Mm. I would say this is a nineties piece. So there you go. I'm going to put this on whilst I talk about the next Emma's um, piece because I think that we can show them how to yes style it. Stack yeah, it up. that's a good idea. So good we're idea. moving on to another Emma's um, bracelet, but I just want to show you how you can play around with them. So. So the, I, uh, another lovely, this is called the Jumbo Hook um, double uh, Single Tour uh, Bangle. Mm. And um, it comes with its original box. Yeah. And these are just really, really lovely little pieces. It's like a... It's it, like a friendship bracelet. Exactly. And it features like the uh, natural cowhide leather with gilded gold tone hoops as well. Let me just do it for yourself. Will it fit me? Yeah. Or just that? Yeah. I think so that looks can great. You see? So you can get a more um, basic Hermes piece and then obviously layer it up with this padlock style piece and play around with the gold tones and so on. Yes. And this is called the uh, single tour 
Yes. And it's really stackable. Really stackable. Mm. There we go. Better yeah. look at it. It reminds me of um knitting wishbone. Oh, like, um, yeah, yeah, because the way of the yeah. elongated of the hoop. And it's got light, light signs of use to the leather, but um, it's cowhide, isn't it? Yes. So it's super it, durable. Yes. So it gives, it, it uh, adds character to the piece, I would say. Definitely. I love this. Definitely playing around with all textures, colours and tones. Yes. Um, and it comes with its box, box. as yeah, well. Yeah, it has come with an Hermes box. So it makes a great giftable item. I think yourself. this is vintage. Yes, it's Is vintage. this one vintage as Both well? Both vintage. Both vintage yeah. pieces. Yeah. And the... Uh, I know, the Kelly Padlock is very, very cute. Yeah. So, let's we do a closer up of it. Yeah. Oh, do you mind? Okay, no problem, I can do that. So, let me put it on myself and then I'll just do... Oh, it looks screen. lovely on you. So, I like the way it has the detail, the hook and eye closure detail, which I like the sort of geom geom geometry of the size, yeah. style. So it's very organic shape, and then you've got the uh, cowhide leather on the uh, on the other side as well, and um, it was and it's you know it's set it's it just sits very comfortably on your wrist. I am a a usual 16, 16 centimeter mm -hmm. wrist or around about eight centimeters across, and it's and the gilding on this is excellent on the gold. And this would be also gold gilded as well, 24 karat gold gilded as well, especially on vintage Hermes. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. So beautiful. So I think we're ready for the price. Yes, we are. Comes with the box. It is only 195 pounds. Mm. Really it's a brilliant deal. price. Come to the box um, or 264 US dollars. Mm -hmm. So you can tap on the icon just there to shop. And it's definitely if you're starting your Hermes collection as well, I think yeah. it's a really nice piece yes. to start off with. It's quite a nice, um, understated, yeah. um, chic piece. If you know, you know, it's one of those. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those. It's you, one if of you know, those. you know. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I'll have to show this piece. Oh, yes. This, I mean, more vintage, we have more Chanel jewellery. Comes with its original box, but this piece is so fun. Absolutely fun. It's a Chanel charm a necklace, and it features all the things we love about Chanel. It has the little uh, faux pearls, it has a little two-tone slipper. Mm. Isn't that cute? A little two-tone ballerina. Has the four-leaf clover, which is the um, the uh, good luck charm um, of Coco Chanel. It's one of her favourite uh, talismans. Uh, has a little CC logo. It also has her sh a little tiny bottle of Chanel Number no. Five, as well as her Bota hat, uh, which really plays oh. homage to her millinery uh, background because uh, Coco Chanel started out making hats before she went into haute couture. Uh, what else does it have? Little um, CC logo and all these lovely little charms. And this necklace is in excellent condition. Mm. I just love it. And number five uh, was not only her lucky number, it's also the world's best-selling perfume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was a very lucky number for Definitely. her. So I'll put it on myself Which now. Got it? Yeah, let me see. And it has adjustable length as well there, so you can see lots of um, lengths you can... I'm going to put it on the service length. Yeah, and you definitely can wear it as a choker or as a bit longer. Yes. Isn't that just as oh, a, a... Isn't that cute? Yes. That's such a fun piece. When I just saw this piece, when I bought in this piece, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. I think so. And cute. I love that the CC's at the front. Yes. I just love the little shoe. Where has the shoe gone? Uh, there it is. So cute, yeah. a little a tiny bottle of Chanel number no. five, <laughs> and the condition is excellent. Um, it's you know in wonderful condition. Um, it is signed. Oh, I can't remember what year it is. It is signed. I think it's like oh five oh six or something like that from the top of my head. 
But with these, because obviously pearls do feel elegant, but you definitely can play around with like wearing it on a knitted jumper. Yes. And making it a bit more casual. A crisp white shirt would look really beautiful as or well. Or like in the evening, where you're wearing a little black dress, yeah. that would look just so um, elegant. Oh, I love this. It's so cute, isn't it? It just makes you happy. I know. I could stare at those charms forever. I think they're just absolutely stunning and so such a fun piece. Yes, and you can wear it like a bracelet. As well, yeah, you can double it up. Yes, so it could be like let me hook you up there. So on the, yes, you can yeah. wear it like a bracelet as Definitely. well. Definitely, and it won't fall. It's a good. It's a good size. Yes, and I even love the. If it has a bracelet, you can have this dangly bit as well. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to take it off. It's so so cute. It's a real um, statement piece. A real yeah. storytelling piece, I think. Definitely. You can tell people all about the little charms and what they mean. Are we ready for the price, Miss Rachel? Done. Thank you. No problem. I'm so clumsy, I can't, I can't deal with taking it off. <laughs> <laughs> it is only £995, which is a great, great price. Um, can we just measure from... Yes, definitely. Oh, there it is. You've got it. Yes, yeah. if you hold that. So it is... 48 centimetres. 48 centimetres. Which either. is around 19 inches. So, yes. Yeah. So, the, lots of different ways you can wear this. So, you just tap on the icon. It'll take you to cart. You can read all the information about it and see further images. And remember, we do ship worldwide as well. Mm -hmm. And tonight, there are no customs duties. So, if you are um, purchasing from outside the UK, your duties are covered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. I just love this piece. We only yeah. have one bag left, so I'm going to show this bag. Yes. Can I have some? Oh, you've got this and then this. Yes. Yeah. I love the vintage uh, Celine's. I know. I love this bag. So for all you non-backpack wearers <laughs> out there. <laughs> You yes. are not my friend, I'm joking. <laughs> but we have a tote. You all said that the unanimous vote earlier was you like to wear a tote for your work bag. Mm -hmm. So here you go, guys. Um, we have the Celine. Again, it's a vintage, so it's that... What is the print called again? A macadam. Macadam print. It's got the leather two top um, handles, so again, nice and secure. Yeah. You'll definitely get your laptop inside of it. It's got a, like a, a pop lock closure. So really nice and secure. And, and it's ideal as a laptop as well. Yeah. If you put it in the portrait uh, way. Definitely. Right way. Jen's and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think that's brilliant. Yeah. That is a good work this bag. This is a really, really good work bag. And again, because of the, the, the canvas that it's crafted for, is it canvas? Or? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's like yeah. a coated canvas. Um, super durable, waterproof. Um, so mm. definitely you can get a lot of wear out of this without it um, getting damaged at all. Yeah. The body of it is excellent, literally mm. no signs of wear at all. Light, light signs of use to the corners but barely, barely noticeable. Mm -hmm. And then as mentioned previously, the interior is nice and clean. And then you've got that um, iconic Celine logo to the front. For me, this is understated but a classic all yes. at the same time. Yeah, let me try on the. I'll quickly measure it. Mm -hmm. So it is across 37 centimeters, which is 14 and a half. So you'll definitely get a 13 inch laptop in there. I like the way that you can wear it over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a good length for tote wearing. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing a leather jacket as well, and it still feels room yeah. enough, so you can wear a bulky sweater Definitely. or a coat over the over, I could yeah. just pitch this with a nice little teddy jacket yeah. in the and the tones would work really well. Yeah, and I just love... It's just so in, isn't it? Yeah. This, this style. Really, like, really very, nice. looks like current Celine. So, the price of this, if we're ready, is only £450, wow. which is a great price for a piece of vintage, uh, which is $610. US So all you need to do is just tap on the icon and it'll take you to the website and you can read further information and you can add to cart as well. Definitely. So, yeah. We do have a couple more uh, vintage, Chanel, uh, vintage jewellery. Oh, oh wow. wow. This would look amazing on you, um, Shonda. Oh. 
this is like a, a, a triple chain. Uh, this is by Givenchy. Givenchy. Givenchy yeah. Yes, it's a vintage Givenchy uh, necklace. Oh, this uh, is look so at special. that! It looks like liquid gold, doesn't it? I just love it. It's an eighties piece. And it's in excellent condition. Uh, it features a lobster clasp and it has that um, classic Givenchy logo just there. And it's in wonderful, and I'll even the Givenchy logos inscribed just there as well. Um, let me just put it on you. Yeah. Okay. Is it a choker? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> Imagine this. Oh, sorry. With, oh, with a black dress in the evening. Yes. Oh. This is so glamorous. Yes, it's so, so lovely, isn't it? There you go. It's a really nice, actually, length. Yeah. And bearing in mind, I've got a thick jumper on as well, and it doesn't feel tight. It's just so understated yeah. and so elegant. Just love it. And the condition of the gold tone is excellent. Oh, my God. I yes. All, all of a sudden, just feel glamorous on it. Yeah, yeah. The chain been... with a black top. Yeah. Definitely. I absolutely love this. It will just sparkle so much. Yeah. And it is like liquid gold. gold. It just feels so nice. I can't describe it. It's almost like chain mail. It's very, very soft. Mm. And um, it's a, it features three uh, little, three chains. Can you see? So it's yeah. adjustable as well. Um, and I had it on the uh, higher setting. Oh, is that right? the highest one? Yeah. Can we just do that for you? Got it, got it, got it. Oh, oh. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> the condition is, stu is it so is stunning. yellow. Oh, it's so vibrant. Yeah. Uh, I just love it. Mm. Such a beautiful piece. Let me just show you one more time. Yeah, it's very on trend at the moment, this big. 80s yes chunky. yeah that was the word i was looking for it is very on trend mm. like i'm thinking balman who else oh, celine yeah. um all that the, they were doing all these sort of very 80s looking um jewelry really you just look like a queen <laughs> i to put it right here okay cleopatra or somewhere <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> i can't i can't pull that off <laughs> yes it has Iman, that is right. So Tony's saying it looks like Iman's vibe in Remember This Time by oh. Michael Jackson. Yeah. yeah, I remember. That is so true. That is what I want to do. Yeah, I just need the um, Iman's uh, top, like long neck. Yeah. <laughs> I look like Nefertiti, Queen Nefertiti. So the price of this amazing Givenchy piece, this 80s piece, See the condition is excellent. No tarnish. No tarnish. It's only two hundred and ninety-five pounds. Incredible. It was just four hundred US dollars. So it is a really, really great price uh, for a vintage piece. Mm. And so, it's a statement as well. Definitely a lovely statement mm. piece. So all you need to do is just tap on the icon, and you can add to cart. Uh, we've got a couple more Givenchy, uh, slightly different. Ooh. A long style necklace, also by Givenchy. And it has all the Gigi logos. Could mm. pass for Gucci, actually. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is Givenchy. Yeah, it's Givenchy. Shall I say? Yeah. I'm sure it is. Yeah, there it is. So, and this is just a, a nice, simple, fun piece. I'll just shout out the skew because they look very similar, Rachel. AWL 2327. AWL 2327. And that is just nice. And I think these are great layering pieces. Yeah. I've got a couple of more necklaces of my own I'm wearing, and they kind of look fun all layered up like this. Definitely. Very luxe boho look. And that um, the logos throughout, they're very iconic as well. Yeah. It's in really, really good condition. Gold tone hardware, gold gilded hardware. Oh, it base, is? Yeah. Fantastic. And it's a base metal with a GG logo. Just there. Love hearts, love hearts for this one. Love yeah, lots cute. of love hearts for this one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tony. Winnie is. I just love, I like, that's how I got into vintage actually, for uh, collecting uh, vintage jewellery, ah. costume jewellery, because uh, it was slightly cheaper than bags. Yeah. So once I was used to a particular brand, then I started investing into the bags. 
So the costume jewellery is how I started, really. Yeah. My first piece of vintage Chanel was a brooch that I bought. Your Chanel jewellery is... Yeah. The collection is incredible. I do love my, my vintage Chanel jewellery. So the uh, price of this, if you're ready, is AWL2327. I wonder if you can wrap it around as the bracelet as Probably. well. So the price of this is only £275. That's £275. If you tap on the icon... That's such a good price. It's a brilliant price. Oh, 373 US dollars. Oh, there we go. So there we go. So that is kind of like a square-shaped GG. Mm -hmm. If you want something a bit more sort of softer shape, this ah. is a different shape. It's almost like a rounder. If you compare the two, so depending on your style... So what this is a square shape GG and this is like an oval shape Givenchy. Another vintage Givenchy uh, necklace. Uh, that is Givenchy, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, it has a lobster clasp. Um, it's inscribed uh, Givenchy just there. Also in wonderful condition. Uh, only light signs of use, gold gilding, no tarnish. Uh, no chipping to the exterior and you can just see how wonderful the GG design is as well and this is a nice um, Again, another great layering piece another great layering piece uh, this is AWL 2316 Rachel AWL 2316 um, another great layering piece you can wear it on its own it's quite nice as a single mm -hmm. or you can I've layered it we can layer it up with other necklaces which I have here which looks quite chic as well. Yeah. Um, and I just think um, Chanel, um, it's not Chanel, Givenchy jewellery, or any type of costume jewellery is a great way to elevate an outfit. Definitely. You don't yeah. even have to think about it, Exactly, do you, then? yeah. yeah. Just show the condition one more time. Again, this is so, these vintage pieces are so bright in yellow tones. Of yeah. Out of this world, really. Oh, someone's saying... Uh, Wearing it as a back lace. What's yeah, that? Yeah, so you could have a backless dress. Oh, you. Yes. So you could wear it like this. Oh. And then have like, a backless dress. And then that could be the detailing at the back. Oh, Tony, we do like that idea. Yeah. Yes. Very good idea. Oh, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Very, it's almost sexy. Yeah. Classy. Yeah, exactly. So, if we're ready for the price, we are. This is £195. A it's a brilliant price. £195 or 264 US dollars. These items will come with a complimentary uh, luxury promise box and dust bag. Definitely. And I suppose you can uh, loop it up several times if you wear it as a bracelet. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Okay. Uh, we have oh, these two. Yes. Okay, so if we got you in the mood for vintage uh, jewellery, we have our uh, vintage jewellery of the day. Got the box, yeah. It's a Chanel piece. Oops. You can wear this as a belt. Oh, I'm excited. Yes. I think do you, you want to? No, you, do you want to do it? So it's the necklace. It's a long chain necklace. Now you can wear them as a choker. Yeah. My jumper's a bit thick, but you could fit it round, double it, and oh, wear it as a choker. It's amazing as a choker. Can you see? These are so fun. These necklaces are my favourite because you can yeah. play around with them so much. You can obviously wear it as a long necklace, which is really nice. Yeah. And then I wonder if this one will fit me. It might be too small, but the other one did. Just about. Or you can wear it as like um, a, on top of a dress. I mean, I think you can. Oh, oh breathe. <laughs> yeah, and then you can wear it as like a top belt. So I'm just like, oh, that looks good I'm as a just, top belt. Wear it as um, over a nice black dress. These you can have so much fun with. There's honestly. so many styling options. He doesn't just stop wearing it as a necklace. Mm. You probably could wrap it around several times yeah. and wear it as a uh, bracelet as well. And you can see the condition of this. It's amazing. So it's that CC large jumbo logo that we love. This is almost like a shell. Yeah, it does. It? Yeah. And it is from, is that 93 or not? 93 spring collection 1993 mm. 
It's got the Chanel hallmark at the back. No tarnishing at all throughout. As Winnie mentioned, we offer complimentary boxes and so on. So definitely packaged very beautifully. And this one you can wear in so many ways. Yeah. Again, it's 24 karat gold gilding. And then you've got that class detailing here. Just there as well. It is stunning. I absolutely love this. Yeah. But yeah. I would personally wear it as a choker. Would you? Yeah. I would wear it long. I you like a long, long necklace, necklace don't yeah, you? Yeah. I definitely think it's like... Well, Sabrina always wears them as chokers mm, as well. Mm. It's definitely your preference. But that's what's great about it. You definitely can wear it whatever mood you're in and how you want to. Okay. And we're ready for the price. We're ready. And the price is £1,800. Incredible. It is incredible. Or a piece that you can wear in three different ways. Exactly. And that's ready to shop. You just need to tap on the icon and it will take you to the website and you can add to cart. Mm -hmm. And then we have one more piece. Have you shown me anything? Most yeah. Uh, we have a, a Chanel a wallet. So this is AWL2310. Uh, a nice classic caviar skin wallet um, everyone needs a good chanel wallet um, what's nice about this one it's crafted from caviar skin with a cc logo and overall condition is good just gentle signs of wear along the corners and the edges of the wallet um, it's a push button uh, closure and what's nice about these wallets is that it comes with an integrated purse section so you can uh, always think that you know it's really handy to put all your receipts and spare change in there and it has an integrated card section there's uh, areas for you to hold six cards and there's also an area for you to put your cash in as well um, overall a very practical and useful little wallet and you can even use this as a little clutch. Yeah, oh yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, because it's, it's a, a decent size. size. Yeah. It's about 19 centimetres across. Mm. So it's a good decent size. Yeah. So a very nice piece. And are we ready for the price, Miss Rich? Yeah. Crafted from that caviar leather. I love these as well because you can use them as passport them. holders. You can use them... It's a great document holder, I think, because we don't generally wear longer purses anymore because we carry less in our wallets, but these are great for travel, for organising. Yeah. Um, and I love OCC again. To yeah, the very there. nice. And the beauty of caviar skin leather, it is very practical and uh, easy wearing and um, easy to look after leather. And the price is, on this, is only £328, mm. uh, which is 445 US dollars. Really good price. So it's a brilliant, brilliant price. So, um, you know, especially for a vintage Chanel wallet. So there you go. Yeah. You can tap on the icon to shop. And uh, someone's right. Yes. We forgot to show this. Yes. Lucy. We've got the Chanel Hallmark. Yeah. 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 We'll give you a chance to recap. We will recap yeah. everything for you. If How stunning is this? Again, Clueless vibes. I know. Pretty in pink. Um, the is this, the, this is the bijou chain, but a bit bigger, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So the 24 karat gold gilding hardware, you've got the flower to the front of it. It's crafted from a pink tweed with that 24 karat gold gilding. Now this will fit in kind of like your cards. You won't really get an iPhone Pro Max in it, but you'll get a smaller iPhone in it. And as you open it, you've got that CC logo to the interior. It's a magnetic pop lock closure. Condition wise, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, there's light signs of wear to the leather trim here, but it adds to be expected with a vintage piece, especially from um, more of a canvas tweedy material. Mm. And this this is just stunning for me. Yeah. It's almost like a micro wallet on chain. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So it is from the series. Let me check. Oh, it's got it's authenticity card, it's got a dust bag. It's um one, one series. series. Wow. So it's from nineteen eighty nine to ninety one. Yes. And you can just wear it perfectly as a crossbody. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. It's so cute. So cute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And I'll quickly do a flip screen for you. So there you go. 
that 3D floral detailing is absolutely beautiful. The corners, again, little to no signs of wear. And then I'll bring it to the back. There's one small mark I've just noticed here. I can Which barely it? see it. Yeah. yeah, but okay. barely, barely see it. And then no tarnishing to the whole hardware the, the as hardware well. The hardware is And like you said, it's almost like a piece of jewellery, the hardware. Yes. Yeah. So let's get you the price of this beautiful piece. We'll oh, please measure, measure it. it, yeah. Measure it for you. I'll, I'll measure it. So width-wise, Shirley, it is uh, around about six inches across and about uh, four inches high. And then the shoulder drop. Oh, this drop is, again, like a piece of jewellery. Yeah, it is tw about 21 inches, yeah. which is ideal for crossbody wear, and you mm -hmm. can wear it as a uh, shoulder bag as well. Definitely. Uh, I would say it would fit up to an iPhone 12. Yeah. yeah. Not one of these huge Pro Maxes, but you'll get um, a regular size. Yeah, one. like a 10. Uh, definitely my 10. Oh, you can double it up the chain. You can yeah. wear it over the shoulder as well. I know, the chain it is stunning, isn't stunning. it, Rachel? Yeah. So we're ready for the price. It is £1,595, wow. which is $2,164. You can tap on the icon and it will take you to cart. There we go. So thank you so much for joining us. We're going to recap items. So if you missed out at the beginning, you can see quickly how they're styled and the conditions. If there's anything you want to re-see or get, um, re-preview again, we'll definitely show you that also. And remember, if you are um, shopping from outside the UK, we are covering your customs and duties. And we ship worldwide as well. Yes, so. We have this Chanel Vintage Beige um, Lambskin 24 karat gold with the wave detailing to the front. Now it is a single flap. It's got ooh, my favourite We love part. this piece. It comes with a matching, matching wallet. So there you go, two for the price of one. And actually, as you put it in, Winnie kindly pointed out that it's got a little pop detailing here yeah. so, so it's it not fits, going anywhere yeah, so it fits securely inside it is so cute so if you want to see the item even more that you can just tap on the yeah. icon just there rachel's just released it there we go and fits perfectly as a crossbody as well and then we also have a little seven inch uh, uh timeless uh full flat bag uh, this is crafted from lambskin leather. It has 24 karat gold gilding. And this little bag is ideally worn as a crossbody style bag. And we would say it would fit everything you need, including a Pro Max, yeah. iPhone Pro Max in this bag. And this, I believe, is at three and a half thousand pounds. Includes cereal sticker, card, and dust bag. And then up next, we have the Chanel Classic Vintage um, Bag. It's in a 10 inch size. Now this is with a twist because you've got that gorgeous bijou chain throughout. Now this is a double flap. It's got that burgundy interior. The condition is absolutely spectacular. And you can also wear it as a high top crossbody. So Rachel's kindly put the icon there. If you wish to see further information, definitely click on it. And another recap, we have the uh, pink Melia canvas bag, a real beautiful, beautiful vintage gem with the bijou chain. Uh, has that beautiful applique design of the camellia. It's a single flat, comes with its serial stuff, sticker, card and dust bag. And it's a one series from 1989 to 91. And that's 1,595 pounds. Now, one of my favorite vintage pieces from this evening, not only is it a great price, but it's incredibly versatile and super on trend and it is this gucci piece now it is a hobo style so you definitely can fit it perfectly over the shoulder um and yeah just that really fun throwback to the early 2000s and it's got the black gucci print throughout and then one of our mine and Sade's yeah. favorite is this beautiful baby blue tote style bag uh, which I can't believe no one's bought it yet. I know. Maybe later on. So it is so stunning. Tight. Absolutely stunning piece. Wonderful condition. Excellent um, um, hard uh, gilding on the hardware. And you can wear this 
over the shoulder yes and just such a rare very rare color comes with a serial sticker card and dust bag and this is i think it's three thousand eight hundred pounds so a super rare piece and then we have the classic miss diana chanel flat bag again the 24 karat gold gilding hardware just look at that shine now the diana is one of the only vintage pieces that um does sit as a long crossbody because of its single chain so perfect for all sizes and definitely you could fit it um with a big puffer jacket on during the winter yeah so it's really fun it's not the, it's the alternative to a classic it flat definitely bag. is yeah so another alternative to a classic flat bag is this uh, Chanel soft structure bag. Uh, this is available for £2,900. This is crafted from beige lambskin and it has a back pocket and it's rated as in good condition with gentle signs of use. Mm. Uh, what's nice about this bag, look at the hardware, it, it pops open. So this bag is uh, only £2,900 and you can wear this ideally as a crossbody. Yes, I love that soft piece. structure to yeah. it. Now, my ultimate favourite piece from tonight, I know I keep saying that about every piece, but definitely this because of um, how rare it is to get a vintage maxi in caviar. So caviar, beige, that CC turnstile lock closure, um, and this definitely can be worn as um, a shoulder bag, and then also you can wear it as a crossbody. Yes, and it's caviar skin, which we love as yes. well. Now we've got um, two vintage Celine bags for less than £500. Uh, this briefcase is only 395 as well as this um, little tote style macadam design at 450 So they're great little work bags, good alternative work bags, everyday bags. And um, with the canvas um, treated exterior, they're very durable as well, so they're kind of wet, weatherproof and they're available just there. For all you backpack lovers, oh, we love these. <laughs> we have these Gucci bamboo. Maybe we could go twinning. Bags. Shall we go twinning? Yes. I love these. They're adorable. I love this colour. So there you go. You've got the raspberry pink, and then you've got that duck egg blue yeah. colour, and we we'll do very iconic bamboo handles throughout. So it can be also worn as a top handle. Yeah, and they're um, under five hundred pounds each. They're for only four seventy five each. So it's a great price. So. Yeah. And let's just finish off the last two bags that we have. Uh, these are still available. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this fun Burberry, vintage Burberry bag. I yeah. think this was 350 this dome style vintage bag. Uh, I would say it's early 90s. It is so uh, preppy. Uh, preppy, clueless. Love, love I it. love the Burberry bag. Yes. Um, sports lux, but then also preppy at the same time. And it's in wonderful condition. It has this look little adjustable size so you can make it smaller or bigger yeah and uh, we also have um, still available the other one just sold is the small oblique bag and this is only available this is available for 515 pounds so thank you very thank much you. for watching our show it's always fun it's always fun thank you Sade for co-hosting thank you for letting me on your show tonight <laughs> learn so much each time so um, remember to join us tomorrow at 7pm. We've got Sabrina with some pre-loved Hermes. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. Bye. Bye-bye.